Claire, it's been a few months since you've signed with the club. How have you found the settling in period here? I, I felt it's been really easy. Uh, the girls have made it so much easier than I uh, thought it would be. Uh, it's been a big jump um, from semi-professional to professional, but the girls have made it really easy and coaches as well. So it's made that transition a lot easier for me and I've really enjoyed it. It's been a little bit of a difficult time with injury just now. How has it been for you to deal with that coming into a new environment? It, it was a bit frustrating, but it's expected when you're training more, you're putting your body through a lot more and um, I'm just in the right place for it. Um, Paul, the physio and all the coaching staff have been brilliant and just building me back up, getting me um, sharp again. So now I'm feeling um, good to go really. You made your first start in the Queen's Park game before the international break. How did you find that? Yeah, I was delighted to get my first start. Um, I've, I've been working hard at training, trying to build back my sharpness and my fitness. So. I just hope that I played well enough to continue that momentum and try and fight for a place in the starting eleven. Yeah, like how much do you feel like that can push you on from your injury and get another opportunity within the squad? Yeah, it's massive. I think everyone's got a really good chance of getting a place in the starting eleven if they just train and work hard and work hard for the team. Um, the squad's really competitive, so it is hard, but um, there will always be a time where you have to stand up and take responsibility and when you get a chance, take it. And how has it been settling into the squad and building relationships with your teammates? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Uh, as I say, the girls have made it really easy for me and the coaches as well. It's made that transition um, to a new club. It's always quite daunting joining a new club, but they've made it a lot easier. And yeah, I'm loving every minute. It's back to league action this weekend against Hibs. What are you expecting from that one? Um, I'm expecting it to be a hard game, especially when last year um, I thought Hibs, well, well, when we were there, we made it hard for the big teams. We had a game plan, so I'm expecting that Hibs will have a game plan and they'll stick to it and they'll try and make it hard for us. They'll try and frustrate us, but we'll just focus on our game plan and what we're good at and just try and build on that. You mentioned there, it's obviously a team that you know quite well. How do you look back in your time there? I loved it. I love uh, all the girls there. so. Um, speak to them, but as soon as I step on that pitch, like we want the three points, we're going to go all for it. So, uh, friendships will go aside for those 90 minutes, and then uh, we'll just focus on the game. Looking at Rangers League start so far this season, how pleased are the squad with it, and how can that push you on for the rest of the campaign? I think it's been a brilliant start, um, especially with goals. Obviously, we want to try and keep winning, but to score more goals. Um, it will be really important definitely towards the end of the season it could come down to goal difference so we'll just keep focusing on ourselves and scoring as much goals as we can. And how important is it for the squad when you're on such a good run in the league that the standards remain that high? Oh it's a lot of pressure I think everyone always wants a result from Rangers whether it be a draw or even to beat us but we put pressure on ourselves to keep those standards high so as long as we focus on ourselves um, we'll hopefully get the results.